Welcome to Kids Sing. I am so excited about being able to be with you tonight. I always love our times together and studying the Bible and singing songs about God and Christ. And tonight what we're going to do is answer some questions from the Old Testament and sing some songs together. Let's start out with some questions. Start out with an easy one. How many books are in the Old Testament? Did you say 39? Well, you're right. What was the first of the Ten Commandments? The first commandment was, You shall have no other gods before me. What language was most of the Old Testament originally written in? It was written in Hebrew. What kind of bird brought Elijah food while he hid into the Kerith Ravine, east of Jordan? It was a raven, wasn't it? Yes, it was. What did Jacob vow at Bethel? He vowed to tithe a tenth of his income to God. Why did God put a mark on Cain? Was it to punish him? No, it was to protect him, wasn't it? What was the first plague that the Egyptian magicians could not duplicate? It was gnats. Who was the only queen to occupy the throne of Judah. Her name was Athaliah. What king stripped the gold from the temple doors? It was King Hezekiah. And the last question, what kind of meat did God provide for the Israelites in the desert? He provided quail. Now let's do some singing together. Let's sing the books of the Old Testament to begin with tonight. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Zechariah, Malachi. We just sang 39 books of the Old Testament. Did you sing with me? I think I've heard you singing earlier. That's great. Now let's sing the books of the New Testament. And how many books are we going to sing for the New Testament? Did you say 27? You're right. Let's sing them together. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and the letter to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. First and second Timothy. Titus and Philemon. Hebrews, James. First and second Peter. First and second and third John, <laughs> Jude and Revelation. We just finished singing 39 books of the Old Testament and 27 books of the New Testament. And how many does that make? 39 and 27? Some of you mathematicians out there, that's 66 books of the entire Bible that we sang. Very good job. Now let's sing the Apostles' Song. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Then came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew. James, the one they called the less, Simon also Thaddeus. The twelfth apostle Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them, yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. Do you remember the second verse? It goes, Matthias then took Judas's place to preach to men of every race. Paul three preaching trips did make and went to Rome for Jesus' sake. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. The Bible is the most important book that's ever been written. And I want us to sing about that book right now. Bible, the Bible, I love the Bible. It is God's Word. 
I will be careful turning the pages. It is God's Word. The Bible, the Bible, I love the Bible. It is God's Word. I won't throw it, I won't throw it. It is God's Word. Oh, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Oh, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I read and study and then obey the B-I-B-L-E. Aren't you glad that God created this world that we live in? It's exciting. It's amazing to see all the things that He's created. And did you see last night where Jupiter and Saturn was the closest to each other that they've been in hundreds of years? I saw it. Did you see it in the sky? And just think, God created those planets. Let's sing the days of creation now. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made sky and sea so blue. Day two, day two, God made sky and sea so blue. Day three, day three, God made flowers and grass and trees. Day three, day three, God made flowers and grass and trees. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made fish and fowl alive. Day five, day five, God made fish and fowl alive. Day six, day six, God made animals and men that day. Day six, day six, God made animals and men that day. Day seven, day seven, God rested in His heaven. Day seven, day seven, God rested in His heaven. Climb, climb up sunshine mountain, heavenly breezes blow. Climb, climb up sunshine mountain, faces all aglow. Turn, turn your back on evil, look up to the sky. Climb, climb up sunshine mountain, you and I. We have had such a good time together tonight answering these questions from the Old Testament and singing these songs together. Mr. Kyle loves all of you. I hope you have a great week this coming week. And I look forward to being back with you again next Sunday night when we'll answer some more questions from the Old Testament and sing some more songs together. God bless you all, and let's close out with a prayer. Father, we thank you for this night that we have together. We thank you for all the good things that you provide for us and how you love us. Thank you most of all, Father, for Jesus and for his life and for his sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Help us to have a good week this week. Help us to always put you first in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week.